we have Rewind and Buffalo as our next game ready to play on stream. Now, this is something that I particularly am very excited about because the two players, they've been around for a while. They've played a bunch. They both have a, a similar kind of history, right? They've both kind of played online a lot, made the transition to offline and have now been, you know, consistent offline threats for quite some time. But they always seem to have incredible games against each other. They do indeed. And I've been, while you've been talking about these two players, I've consulted the bracket gods and I've an update. Uh, one of the matches, well, I think really the only match I can update you on so far now we've moved on into other parts of the game uh, is Full Auto defeated So Sick Nash Fan 3 to 0. So he's now moving on in the losers bracket to face off against, you know, some of the losers of these next matches and winners we have. But the first. Uh, loser's bracket match in the next round has actually concluded. It was Sunio versus Emperor Smack. It was a Jackie Mirror, according to Smash GG, and it was a 3-1 victory to Sunio, uh, who was able to defeat Smack in that matchup. And uh, before that point, Smack had defeated Infinity 3-2. So there were some uh, pretty crazy Damn. games off stream. Infinity had two game fives? That's rough. That must have been like a gauntlet to play through. Uh, she got it up until the last wire. Hey, for both shout, them, but... shout outs to Infinity, man. Rocking that Sindel. There were so many players that were saying they were looking forward to Sindel coming out. And uh, the only one you really see sticking with her competitively. It was, I don't say the only one, but in the, one the, 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 in the regular amount that we, that we see them is absolutely Infinity. Shout outs to Infinity. But Rewind and Buffalo, what, do you remember which combo breaker it was that they had that crazy Injustice set? It was uh, 2018. Yeah, I always well, forget it was exactly. Top eight as well. I'm sure it was. It was I the think, top eight, I think. Rewind was so. really ropey, and uh, um, Buffalo was running away with it. But okay, so the and big then thing the about comeback. yes, it, 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 it's the comeback that makes everyone that everyone remembers that set the most, I think, because it was one of those situations that, in theory, had no right happening, but it it it's materialized anyway. Now, the big thing about this though is Sub Zero. Of course, Buffalo, we have seen one of the most dominant Sub-Zero players we've seen in the Netherrealm community for a while. See, there are a number... I feel like it's crazy, because there are low-key a lot of Sub-Zero players in this game, yet Buffalo has always been able to kind of, like, shine with a distinct style. And it's very Dead of Winter heavy, right? Buffalo is very live and die by the offense, but also have crazy damage, crazy reads with the interactables, and all of the in-between. But that's what separates uh, Buffalo from many Sub-Zero players is the fact that he is not afraid to completely establish the mix. On the subject of that, though, here comes Jack. Oh, Ring. my God. That was a clean conversion. Lots of work. Oh, uh -oh. there's the first overhead. It begins. And he goes in for the low almost immediately. It is our mix. And the reactionary block. Rewind was blocking low first. He saw the overhead and he stood up. Who said it can't be reacted to off online? Rewind did just that. Oh, I, actually feel like it, I actually feel like it wasn't a reaction though, because Rewind never crouched. He just went straight from blocking the jump in and just blocked standing no matter what. I'm sure I saw him blocking first. Well, I'm I guess sure I saw it. We're, we're going to have to check, go check the tapes. I'm going to go check the tapes. 100%. Either way, I guess to be fair, one of us will be right or wrong by the end of this first of three anyway. I'll take that <laughs> ratio. Yeah, we'll, we'll see more. Oh, I mean, I'm, that looked like a reaction to me, dude. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm not saying he isn't reacting. I'm saying that specific case, I don't think it was. Yeah, nice option slick kit. Uh-oh. Oh, that 950 health, too, so that's going to be a lot worse than it seems. Oh, it's the jump two. We talked about Injustice before. Final Rears its head. Fight. Whiffs the oh, forward too, though. Yeah, that's just a straight up whiff. Tries to go for the side switch. Oh, my oh. word. In the face. But that's still one of the best things about upgraded is it's what well, is the only real Jackie variation that gets to consistently combo off that forward one. It's such a good mid, and she gets so much damage off of it. There's the low. He was blocking low first. Oh, another mistake. That is, uh, Rewind. That is the tricky thing, though. In the online setting, it is hard to see if somebody is looking for a reaction or not, because in a lot of these exchanges, he is essentially he, he's blocking low. It looks so much to me like he's blocking low first and doing that micro stand up. Um, but, in the but that game, Buffalo, it was overhead or low, and that was it. There, there were no throws. There were, you know, very minimal use of one, two. Because that's the way that Buffalo plays. Buffalo is very much... He's actually gone to thin ice. Because um, I think he realized that, again, when you when you are dedicated to that overhead low game plan, someone like Rewind, 
it, it is going to be reacted to, you know? If, if that is what you're really living and dying by, you will fight someone that knows how to react to it. And that is where the next layer of the Sub-Zero offense is opened up, right? Between the throws, between the use of 1-2, right? Quite a few of these forward twos are not quite working out anymore. And the change of the nice comes in because it's all about neutral, right? It's about trying to have projectile tools against the side switch capabilities of the amp slide. And just having projectiles beyond ice ball, having the air axe, you know, for a very air mobility heavy character like Jackie, restand and into plus frame. So this is a loopable forward throw, very plus. And the overhead blocked again, rewind, not letting this overhead scare him at all. No, he does not fear the overhead because his ratio of blocking it versus getting hit has been so good. Uh -oh. Clearly enough to the point that it has Buffalo. I mean, he's still dedicated to it, but that's the thing, right? If Buffalo refuses to stop doing it, then don't stop reacting. But it's now on Buffalo. Back back low, though. All right. The ball is yeah, in Buffalo's court. Stop that. Ending on the yeah. amber fight slide. This getting is that play though. Blow. It's that it's that play though from Buffalo where it's all about. He's got two of the amplified slides now. And he still has the one, two, four crushing blow. The problem is, will he have a chance to use it? All right, we're gonna go for a third one. Ouch. That has now, to be the crushing blow. Oh, oh. He has two. He has two killable crushing blows locked and loaded now. And one throw almost will do it, chip damage. And there it is, I could feel it. Oh, I mustard, could feel that was so clutch. Block. That was clutch and I'll tell you why. He used the flawless block to get the round. Now he's going into this round with fatal blow. One, two, four crushing blow. Ah, he tried to get the counter hit for the fourth crushing blow. And the slide's ready. He has a lot of potential damage, but he needs to hit it. Problem is it involves hit confirming forward too. Oh, he tries to add, yeah, but he's just off. Half dead now, but again, he has oh, the damage. Oh no. Will he get he's a chance to even blows. use it though? They're slipping through his fingers right now. That's what's happening. And no, oh, he's... Oh, God! What? That worked out! 150 damage from it! He still has extras. But he has to be careful now. Oh! Oh, my God! Rewind his... Oh, my God! Oh, no! Oh, my God, wait. He's not going to find his fail not over. How is this he, round not yeah, over? Not enough hits in the combo to get the one, two, four. Fatal blows not back. Oh, oh no. That was the weirdest game I've ever seen. Now, yeah, the crazy thing actually, about Buffalo. That, yeah, continue, continue. Sorry, this is delay I, again. I feel like Buffalo combo too short. I feel like but he, at the same time, he kind of like hesitated before he went for that combo too. Because there's no way off that confirm, I don't think, that you can get enough hits in the combo to trigger the one, two, four crushing blow. And because he'd just used Fatal Blow, that wasn't available either. So, oh, oh, oh no! Oh, someone somewhere would have quit the game and put that on Twitter right there. But that's just a classic case of uh, incredible active frames at work and active frames of a jump in colliding. And that's why some of these kind of almost like janky looking moments can happen because it's the nature of 3D hitboxes working a little bit too accurately, I think. Oh, it's the jump-ins, man. Like, it, that, that only really seems to consistently... Well, I say, I don't, it's definitely not the only time it happens, but it happens the most, most consistently. And, and Jade's in. Nitro Kick. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's poor, poor Nitro Kick. And Eren's forward four. There are a couple of standing examples where it happens a lot more than you think. But it's because those... Uh, it's because the, uh, the hurt box, the jumping normals, right? They end up overlapping to the other side of the of the, uh, the standing opponent. Buffalo it just looks so strange. strange. He's made the change back to Dead of Winter, but he's not had one single opportunity to do anything. On the defense, he's doing a lot of wake-up up twos. Oh, oh no! I feel like Buffalo might be a little bit tilted, to be honest. Uh, with just the nature of how this game has gone, the fact that his first jump in collided with a hitbox in a funny way, there's the lead point blank, and just constantly aggressive. That's when you are... It's. I think this is kind of like... And I don't mean to say this in... I don't mean to come across as uh, disrespectful in any way, but essentially, it kind of feels a little bit like... The way Buffalo approaches Sub-Zero being so heavily focused and in some ways kind of dependent on the mix-ups at the moment, we are now reaching a point where Sub-Zero as a character is developing quite a lot. And if you are a player that can start really, you know, those minute reactions, Rewind got those. He's always had those. He's one of the most reactionary players we have in the business. If you play against someone like that, with a very mix-heavy do-or-die Sub-Zero, it doesn't quite work anymore, you know? But we've seen there are other ways to approach Sub-Zero uh, with other Sub-Zero players that are a bit more, like, they just approach him more heavily built built around grabs, like, the, the super strong, like, crispy neutral. It's, it's, it's just like... It's, it's,